In line with NDEB's new updates to the ACJ exam, Prep Doctors has upgraded its course. I'm going to give you a sneak peek into the mock exams going on inside right now and then we'll talk more about our course. Come right in. one of the four fully computerized mock exams we have this year. Let's go inside, speak to one of our instructors and find out everything about all the updates to our ACJ course. So everyone, meet Dr. Khalid. Hi. Dr. Khalid is one of the instructors uh, for the ACJ course and he's one of the core team members behind all these changes that we've introduced to the course. So Dr. Khalid, tell us what are these changes to ACJ? Okay, so the ACJ, the exam itself in terms of the structure, in terms of what they ask about the framework itself, mm -hmm. they haven't changed it. Okay. It's, uh, they've only changed the medium on which the exam is taken. So now instead of a paper exam, it's a completely computerized exam. So it's taken at Prometric centers. But in terms of content, the exam is still the same as it was in the previous cycles. Okay, so doctor, <coughs> uh, to keep in mind uh, these new changes, uh, the format has entirely changed, even though the content is the same, the exam format has changed. Uh, how has our course adapted uh, to reflect this new change? So there's been two major changes in the course. Mm -hmm. The first one is that the course now is being taught through cases as okay. opposed to being taught through just slides. So um, the different subjects are being taught uh, through clinical cases and then these cases are correlated back to the theoretical knowledge. Okay. Uh, so we've done that basically because most of the people who, who are doing the ACJ have mm -hmm. recently done the AFK. Okay. So their theoretical background is very strong. We don't need to keep revising that. Right. So it's mainly through cases right now because this is what the ACJ is all about. It's not about how much you know. Mm -hmm. It's about how, how you apply the knowledge that you do have. Okay. And we've also introduced a lot of practice sessions. So it's a weekend course on mm -hmm. Saturdays and Sundays. Right. Uh, but in addition to that, we have mm -hmm. two practice practice sessions a week uh, okay. and four mock exams as well. well how does the practice sessions uh, help doctor? Uh, how, why would you say is practice so important uh, for ACG students? So one thing that we noticed mm -hmm. um, uh, after each cycle when we get back the results right. um, is that people who are attempting the exam uh, on the second and third time mm -hmm. they are actually passing more easily than the people who are doing the exam on the first time. Okay. So if we analyze like the first timers versus second and third timers, mm -hmm. we see that the passing rate among the second and third timers is higher. Okay. And this is mainly because they've already been exposed to the exam and they've, um, they've had <laughs> an overall more amount of practice right. and like they've taken more than one course. So it's all, in the end, it's basically mm -hmm. they've just been practicing and like revising and solving more and more cases for a longer time than first timers. That's why it's... They, they pass more easily than first timers do. Um, so this is what we've tried to do with the practice sessions is okay. that this amount of practice instead of having to do multiple exams to do the practice, right. people are getting this practice from the very beginning. So this will hopefully help them to pass to clear the exam more easily. So okay. the more practice, the, the better. better. Yeah. Okay. Um, doctor, uh, you said that the whole uh, exam has been digitized now. Yeah. Uh, what have we done to sort of help our students uh, be comfortable with the digital computer-based exams? Okay. So uh, the fact that it's been computerized, mm -hmm. it's a big X factor and a lot of people are worried that it might be different and they might be uncomfortable doing the exam, right. especially since it's stressful without that added uh, uncertainty, Absolutely. you can say. So our IT department, they've actually designed a program that we use here, okay. and it's uh, very similar to the program that they use at the Prometric centers. Okay. So the features of the program okay. are very similar. Doctor, do you want to show me some yeah, of the features? Yeah, sure. So um, uh, you log in, mm -hmm. and then you get the exam. So there's two parts, a radiology and a cases part. They okay. start with the cases, and as soon as they log in, they get the case information, mm -hmm. and then they go on to the questions. Okay. And so during... Uh, during the assessment, when they're doing the individual questions, they can always go back to the case. It's, it's they don't have to exit the question. Okay. It's just a pop up of the case. So they click a button and the case pops up along with the question on the same screen. Mm -hmm. 
so that uh, they can uh, answer the question while getting the information they need from the case right. instead of having to leave the question altogether and going back to the case. Okay. And they will have access to the pictures that come along with the question as well. Right. You can also flag questions that you, you're not sure of, you want to go back to. Mm -hmm. uh, you can highlight certain answers if you want to think more about them. You can scratch out certain answers mm -hmm. if you want to exclude them and not pick them by accident. Okay. And then uh, there's, you have a timer at the top. Right. So it keeps track of how much you have and how much time you have left to do the assessment. Okay. Yeah. So you, the participant, like they can always tell how much time they have left. So it's it's similar. And the point being is, uh, we want them to get accustomed to doing an exam on something like this, right. so that when they do go to the exam, they don't have to get accustomed to it. Mm -hmm. Uh, they'll just have to focus on the exam itself because they've done the exam on, already on something extremely similar. Absolutely. So, yeah. Doctor, you explained some amazing navigational features to me right now. Yeah. So, uh, I, I think we haven't just, uh, you know, taken our exams and put them on the computer. We've actually added all these navigational features that they'll be dealing with uh, in the real Prometric Center. And uh, I, I think this would uh, help take the nerves out of uh, the real exam and they'll focus just on the content. Exactly. And so, um, during the practice sessions, they're usually half mock exams. Okay. So that's other than the mock exams. So right. during the practice sessions, we start doing like 30 case questions and okay. 30 x-rays per practice session, and that's twice a week. So, Doctor, even the, uh, the practice sessions, are they also on the computer? Yes, the practice sessions themselves are computerized as well. And the advantage that gives us is, um, along with getting the, uh, the participants accustomed to doing the exams on computers, mm -hmm. Uh, it helps us to collect data from the beginning of the course till the end. Right. So what we do is uh, we get uh, we get their scores from the first practice session up until the last mock exam, okay. and we keep track of each person's performance All right. throughout the course. So how they're doing in x-rays, how they're doing in cases, are their grades improving, are they not? And um, so we, get, we have a lot of data that we, we run through st statistical analysis, and in the end, it's easier to recommend to people if we think um, they're ready to actually attempt the exam or, or we think they should wait a little bit on, until they're more comfortable doing the exam. Okay. We also get the advantage of running our exams themselves through statistical tests. Okay. Um, so I don't want to get too technical. Mm -hmm. But what it is is that we take our exams and then we do a statistical analysis on them right. uh, to see how reliable they are. And this is done like in all exams throughout the world. And okay. so some of the tests, like one of them is called the Cronbach's Alpha, which the NDEB actually okay. uses as well. Okay. Uh, it tells us how reliable our exams themselves are in terms of how well they're testing the participants' performance in those exams. Okay, yeah. that's excellent, Doctor. We've not only taken our whole uh, course, the practice sessions, the mock exams, digital, but we're also tracking individual students' progresses. We're going to give them uh, individual recommendations. Exactly, yeah. Awesome, Doctor. That sounds really exciting. The exam is just around the corner. Uh, what last message do you have for the students that are taking the exam this time? Okay, so um, best of luck everyone. I hope all your hard work and effort pays off and hopefully from now on the rest of your equivalency process goes on as smoothly as possible and you get your license ASAP. Thank you for watching everyone.